Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms for another Silver Run Forest episode. So, last episode we placed our iron smelter. Anyway, the iron factory. And then we've got the placeable iron mine. Alright, so this is the exact same one you find on the top of the mountain. I've just decided to bring it to purchase one. And bring it down to the close to the main farm over there so it just reduces my transit time back and forth etc so I explained that in the last video what we're going to do today is go and grab a conveyor belt set up so we can get the iron ore from the production point into into the smelter so we need the conveyors if I can find out where they are uh, I'm sure I saw them before belt systems so we need this one here the lizard so let's lease that one and the grimy or grime uh, quantum so this will work hopefully yeah, let's just try that so I've tried this out before it's pretty reliable okay let's get the lizard pick up uh, let's send this guy back while we're here. Uh, where is it? I was just in it. I'm going to have to go through every vehicle, aren't I? There we go. So I'll leave the trailer there. I'll go and grab those conveyors and then we will get our steel production underway. So we need steel for the boat. We need steel for the roller coaster and currently that's the last this is the last production chain we need to activate in order to get those items completed and through to the next stage so the boat in particular so let's grab this one first so it should connect yep so this trailer is or this conveyor belt is designed to take stuff from the ground this is all base game equipment by the way so to take stuff from the ground onto a second conveyor. So either the one we just leased, the grimy. Whoa. Uh, so there's two types. There's basically an extension which doesn't have any ele elevation, but it just goes over a longer distance. Whereas the one we got is basically for this purpose here. So what I need to do is... What I'll do is I'll go grab both and then I'll set them up. So you can see our production is starting to produce ore. Where are we? So I don't think you can interact with it. You can basically, it's just, it's just there and it can be taken. So the pile does get pretty big. So I don't know how many litres per day it produces, but it gets basically much bigger than what it currently is. So we're still in June, middle of summer, or first month of summer. Uh, we've still got seasons turned on. So not so much seasonal growth, but just the seasonal cycles for the visual aspect. So hopefully this will connect. I've got a feeling it should. No, I need a draw bar. I think I need a tractor for this. That's a pain. Right, let's send him back to back to here, and we will jump in the the New Holland. Go and pick up the conveyor, and then drive it over. So I think it's because it's got a it's got a draw bar, whereas all the tractors have got draw bars and three point hitches, so they they can take basically any trailer. Okay, let's get this parked up. So I've got basically infinite supply trees here because I've got the helper buy setting on, so the trees in the pallet actually don't diminish at all. I do like the new Holland tractors though, pretty cool. Nice blue. So I picked this one up second hand. 
through the used vehicle sales. There's our log truck. Happy days. I must say the uh, the AI driving has definitely improved from when the game launched. I really found the it could be the map design too, like Elm Creek in particular is a bit pokey in certain areas. Whereas this has got nice wide roadways, which really help to facilitate vehicle movements, especially on the main roads. So this should attach now. There we go. And you can basically drive this at. Uh, top speed of the vehicle you're in so you can see there it's got a, on the red the red arm section it's got a little tow bar setting or tow ball so what that'll do that'll connect to the the other trail uh, the other conveyor we've already taken over and then they'll link up like a chain and what uh, what I'll probably have to do is turn on auto, turn off automatic engine start so the conveyor will work without me having to be in it so I'll explain, I'll explain what that is in a second so I've got a feeling that's the only way you can do it alright let's detach and get these into position so what I'll do is I'll position this one first so square to enter uh, this is the forward direction only goes about 5k's now so it really helps to drive it to where you need to go so you can see because we're quite close we could almost we could almost get away with uh, not having to so let's So what we're going to have to do is probably go on a bit of an angle. So let's just get that in a position there. So while I'm not parked directly over it is because I wanted to get this. So that is the forward direction. So I want to give space for the, the pile to fill because it will basically come out to the edge of where the second conveyor is. Okay, so let's unfold the conveyor belt. So I want it to go there, roughly, uh, jump back into this one, attach to the lizard, so I'm going to drive forward, and then I'm going to turn like that, hopefully, that hasn't worked ideally, because I just want to make sure I get the loading trigger, correct. So let's try this instead. So let's go back directly. So you have to kind of be pretty close to the pile to pick it up in the first place. So let's go forward just a touch. And then we want to go basically just there. Let's see if this will work. So if I jump into here uh, turn on conveyor we should get this to deliver to our production point so you can see it going in up the chute there all right now if I jump out of that will that still run currently it looks like it will yeah there we go so that's going up Beautiful, so that's working perfectly. 492 litres of iron ore. I mean, what I could do is I could go and get some iron ore and transport it back here just to help boost the production. All right, let's have a look. So it only makes metal. Uh, I'm going to set that to storing and I am going to leave that as is for the moment. Now let's see if I've got any vehicles up there actually because I did have a conveyor and a couple of other things so I may have yeah so we've just got the standard yeah let's look at the pile look how big it gets so maybe we will actually no we won't I think we'll just wait because 
by the time I invest in... Actually, unless I can get this guy to drive, to drive back. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. So let's try this. Okay, maybe the AI worker doesn't work for this type of vehicle. I'm, I'm going to try again though, so let's see. So, open AI worker menu. So it doesn't give me a... Doesn't give me a option. Alright, let's have a look. I wonder what... I wonder if our other trailer... So... This one here. I wonder if it will auto-load all. Iron all. So I'll just wait and see what comes across that bottom ribbon. So it looks like it might actually. Yeah, let's give that a go. Because that's 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 basically the only option I've got to get over there. Uh, so let's try and take the man truck. See if we can't get a load that way. Just to give our just to give our uh, steel mill a bit of a kickstart. And it'd be good to go for a bit of, bit of a drive up there, because I haven't been there for a while. And I've got a feeling it is going to be pretty sketchy trying to get this trailer up there, so... What might end up happening is I might have to reset the trailer if I get stuck. Because this thing is absolutely huge. Probably take the twenty thousand liter trailer. I wonder if that'll be that would be a little bit more reliable. Let's see if it'll take. Let's see if this will take iron ore because then I can run up there with the lizard pickup, and it will probably be be quicker. Yep. Okay. I'm going to use this instead. Okay. Where is the lizard pickup? I just don't want to go through the hassle of getting all the way up there to realise that I cannot get the trailer through. Whereas this one should work. The only other thing is if it's going to let me unload at the other end. So let's see what happens. Alright, let's double check how to get up there. So we've got to go over the bridge. So over the bridge, and then there's a, a sealed road that goes up the hill, and then it winds through the mountains, and then we get to a track, and there's two ways to enter. So, so this is the this is the the right hand turn. So we've got a pretty steep climb getting up here. So I do really enjoy the elevation change in this in this map. Because you do go you do get quite high. And there, there is actually a lookout near the mine, so maybe we'll go and have a look at that because I haven't been there yet. Okay, so this is one of the ways. Um, actually, I think they join up down the bottom here. Almost feels like a rally circuit. Okay, cool. So we're coming up to the base of the mountain, so you can see it up there. So we are just going to go straight up. So there's two ways to get up. There is that path over there, which is not as steep. And there's this path here, which is steeper but also a little bit more pokey, so that's where I was worried about the trailer getting caught. But it looks like it might actually be okay. Just have to drive it carefully. But look, if we can get 20,000 litres in here, that'll be... that will be very good. Alright, so let's see if we can... get some ore... It doesn't appear to want to pick it up. 
Closed door? Nope. Very good. Oh, that's good to know. At least I don't have to worry about this harebrained scheme. Let's just try one more time. So I should get the trigger. No, it's not working. What if I jump in this? Okay. Old school equipment for the win. Let's see if it'll auto load from the bucket. So I may have to actually back this out a little bit, so it's not gonna not gonna confuse the piles. Okay, so we've got that there. I mean, pretty inefficient loading method. The conveyor belt's probably gonna work a lot better. So let's just try this while we're here. If I can figure out how to reverse properly. Okay, let's open the doors. Okay, not going to work. Got it, that's fine. Let's go up to the lookout, have a quick quick check of that. Uh, Alright, let's get out of here. So it is all the way up there. So if we go up this way, I think there's a path. So this might be it here. I mean, look at that for review. I mean, it's just a game, but... Pretty good effort. Okay, let's see if we can... I don't think we could almost drive up here. If we had a Mahindra. Or a motorbike, or even a horse would get up here. Because you can ride the horses pretty much, if you've got them, all over the map. So this winds up through here. There's probably a whole bunch of collectibles around here too, to be fair. Okay, so where are we exactly? Oh yeah, so we're just on the plateau. And speak of the devil. There is one. Right there. So I'm not going to grab that now, because I'm going to do a collectible video all of its own. To sort of showcase where they are. It's actually good that you can actually get up this thing too. Yeah. So I've got a feeling this is going to show us the whole map. Okay, this is just the inside. Oop, don't want to go that way. And hopefully we don't fall off here, because that would suck trying to get back up. So we're, let's get our bearings, actually. So if we're looking... So we're looking down to the main river towards the main town. So that's straight ahead. So the main town is going to be over... So what we can see is the mountains here, it would look like. And because we're up quite high, coming down this way, that's looking towards the sawmill. And there's obviously a mountain range up through this way. I wonder what that, th that is there. Could be a little log cabin, who knows. But yeah, haven't been up here before. Oh, and there's also a little minecart thing that runs. You can't really see it because I'm stuck behind the banister. But just down through there. And that snakes down the mountain. <clears throat> cool, good stuff. All right, back to the car. I don't want to cycle through every vehicle. Uh, get, in the, get in the ute. All right, set destination. So we'll try and drive this back to the farm. And we are going to go and... So he should be driving, hopefully. Yep. Let's go and sleep for one day. Oh, worker D is blocked. Oh no, he's underway. Yeah, let's go and sleep for one day. 
see how our steel production is moving along and how much of that pile we can get moved and we'll get a hopefully a growth state on these trees so let's go and do that okay sleep for one day and we might check the we'll check the, the price of furniture particularly chairs and tables so see if we can't sell some of those okay so we're in July use vehicle sales always check that first up cotton bag cotton tag trailer interesting okay nothing I'm interested there uh, all right, let's check the price of tables so they are so they got a high of 8,000 in August so one more month they should go up so roller coaster will purchase them waffle hut south so sunnyside cafe has got the highest price for tables what about what about um, also we'll check on the productions too so chairs best price at the moment is waffle waffle hut north and about 5,000 is the best price. So. Uh, well, let's wait for the pickup to come back. And let's go and. Just quickly fly over to our. Production. So you can see that. That. Where is our tractor? We just need to jump in here. Uh, it is cool. So that's going to hopefully pick up this pile. And let's see how much we're getting in there. So we're getting a nice steady amount there. I don't know if we're going to have any steel out the front yet. Possibly not. Cool. Alright, we'll go and check on our... We'll see where our car is. So he's on the way back still. Oh, it really annoys me how it doesn't default to this menu. Okay, that seems to have stopped for some reason. So I need to turn on. I need to turn off automatic engine start. So, because basically when I left that vehicle, the engine turned off. So where are we? Uh, automatic engine start turn off. Okay. So what will happen now is that that piece of equipment will stay turned on. So let's get out of that. So that's dwindling that pile down. Yeah, so we're getting 11,000 litres and that's good. So if we see, we can, if we walk away, you can see that's still running. And if I tab to another vehicle, jump into the build mode. So theoretically, I'm on the other side of the map effectively. This should. Okay, still stop running. Let's try this again. Maybe I'm just going to have to do this manually. I don't know. It is working. Could be that it's not picking up the... It's not picking up the iron ore at that point that we need it to. So let's try and reposition this. So you can see that the conveyor is... Yeah, there we go. So let's see if this will actually trigger the. Yeah, it has. So what that all that was there was this trailer was out of position. I mean this this uh, this um, conveyor belt 
was not in the trigger area for the iron ore to be picked up. Okay, there's the... There's the... Okay, let's go and sell some chairs. So we'll let that do its thing. That'll just keep on. That'll keep loading up the steel mill for us. And we might actually have a few more chairs we can pick up. So we'll try and get a full load here. See what we. See how much cash we can get. Good old trucks blocking the traffic. Uh, all right, I think we're up this way. Uh, yeah, furniture factory right here. Okay, so I'm just going to park there. I'll go and grab the forklift, which is just over here. Got a couple of stair railings ready to go as well. So automatic engine start is now turned off, so I've just got to turn the engine on, which um, that's how I normally play anyway. Because if you want to have something running with you not being in it, You've got to turn that setting off. Come on, let's go. So we should get a fairly decent um, cell here with all these chairs. Oh. Okay, pick that up. So obviously we'll double check where the best point place to sell is. Do a quick stock take of how many pallets we've got. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's get. So we are storing 6,000 litres of tables. So we could really probably empty out this entire production point, to be honest. Okay, let's try and be tricky here and pick up two chairs at once. Perfect. Love that. Love it when that happens. And we, yeah, so we're definitely going to sell these today because this is going to give us a good cash injection. Grab those two. See if we get another couple of pallets spawn. Hopefully, we do. See if we can double stack this. Just saves me having to come back for it. So if you didn't know, double stacking is a real life um, forklift technique for certain palletized items. Just allows you to save space and reduce movement of equipment and personnel. Okay, let's go. All right, let's check the prices first. So, chairs are. Let's show current prices. Which is, it looks like the chair price has dipped a little bit. I don't know. So, 5,254 is the peak price, but we're in August, so it's dropped. But it's still um, Waffle Hut, Sunnyside Cafe. So, this is the one we're going to want to sell to. So, let's tag that place. Which I think is right there. Well, that's handy. Okay, let's pick these chairs up. So hopefully there's a load in. So fear, theoretically, all I got to do is just back in, and we are on. And once you've picked up one variety of item don't generally have to worry about picking up anything adjacent to it so those tables won't won't load
We've actually got a fair, a fair amount of stock here, which is good. And last one. So what I will do is I will grab those two other pallets of chairs that just spawned. Because we might as well. While we're here. Okay, let's see if I can... Yeah, probably not going to work. Let's just grab the one. So this is my preferred forklift, the map now, base game. Seems to be a little bit more responsive than the other. So this should hopefully yep, load directly in. Seems to be a little bit more responsive than the electric forklifts in terms of the back and forth and the yeah the movements. And it's also got bigger tyres, so if you're not in a perfectly flat area which we are here because we've got gutters and dips and all sorts of stuff. Alright, let's go and sell this. It just handles the terrain a little bit better. Okay, so how do we get to the sell point? Just there. Alright, let's drive. Actually, let's drive around. I think there's a back entrance. So it's going to be interesting to see how much we actually... Well, I thought there was a back entrance. Maybe there's not. Uh, can we do a block? Yeah, let's do a block. Alright, can we get down that way? Looks like we can. So I'm hoping that this will just sell immediately. Oh, it's not going to let us, is it? Damn it. So I'm probably going to have to push these in. So let's see if I can unload a couple. Yep. Oh, that's going to drive forward. There we go. So that's not a big deal. We'll just grab our forklift. So that's the only downside to this trailer. It doesn't overload. Whereas the other bigger one actually does. So... And it's got a lot more capacity as well, so... Effectively all I need to do is just push these into the cell point and we are on. Alright. It's actually lined them up quite nicely. Okay, let's just... Push them in. Hopefully this doesn't pick them up. Okay, are we, are we selling here or not? Yep, there we go. So that's in the trigger point. I'm just going to move this truck out of the way. So that was 17,000. <laughs> I mean, it would have been nice to sell them all in one go rather than having to do this, but just what we've got to do, I guess. So I'm just going to pick this one up and hopefully push the other couple in. Yep. So 30,000, so say 50,000 so far. So there's another 23,000. It's got most of them. Whoop. You just got to be careful when you push pallets like that because the physics really can get a bit sketchy. Okay, good stuff. All right, let's go sell these tables. What I'm going to try this time is I'm going to get the auto loading semi trailer. See if that improves our our loading ability. So let's go and grab that. Uh, I do need to move this out of the way. So I will just park that there. 
Go and grab the man truck. Yes, the problem with it is just so big. I mean, it's good for transporting lots of items, but could be a challenge to get get into the cell point. So I might have to reverse it in. Okay, so let's go and pick up the rest of these tables. Yeah, something tells me this is not going to work, but we'll give it a go. Okay, so I'll open the back door. I will swing it in. And then see if we can't reverse. That car had to pull up right there, didn't it? Okay, so it is picking up the tables, so that's good. So the other issue here too is it may not pick them all up because they're they're low. Anyway, let's see if we can sell it. So let's just let's just move on. So I think if we can we can drive directly into into here. So hopefully we get the overloading trigger straight up. There we go. So that's 57,000. Okay. Right, let's see if we can get this out. Okay, almost there. Oh, I actually didn't check the price of tables. If that was the best place to sell. No, that was a bit dumb. Uh, it was not the best place. So Sunnyside Cafe is currently the best place. Alright, I'm just going to go park this back at the shop and then I'm just going to use the smaller trailer. Because it doesn't actually load, so... Bigger pallets wouldn't be a problem. So pallets like this, it should pick up no problem. It's, oh, here we've got a lot of... What do we got here? So these are the... These are the floor tiles. Um, all right, let's go get some get some more of these tables. We'll sell them and then actually now what we'll do is I'm going to come up with a better solution and I'm going to come back next episode and we are going to sell the rest of this stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next one and like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.